Hello, we are back in Western New York. We are looking for Devonian fossils. That's what Western New York is, large areas of Western New York are known for. We lost part of our group, but it looks like they're just arriving now. Beautiful area. And hopefully we have a chance to find some nice fossils. This is a New York Paleontological Society field trip. All right, oh, oh my God, Owen, wow. It's just laying up on the top. I think the deer is guarding the fossils. So we are in Madison County, not too far from Shelbrooke. And once again, this site is turning out to be abundant with fossils. So right now I'm just gonna do a little do a little digging right here, try to find a couple of things, and then later I'll bring us in to show us more of what we find. Right here though, I found a nice gastropod, nice snail-like creature. So uh yeah, off to a good start. As I mentioned, we're in Madison County, New York. This area formed as part of a shallow sea uh, during the middle to late Devonian. The purple areas on this map of Madison County and the surrounding areas indicate the rocks are from the Devonian. They're going to be from middle to late Devonian where we're finding these fossils. It's either going to be, I'm not sure whether this is the Ludlow or Moscow formation, or possibly the Panther Mountain Formation, which tends to run at about the same time in this area. During the Vonian, this was part of an inland sea with mountains actually to the east. Behind the Appalachian Mountains, there was this very shallow ocean. You can see it marked off in the red circle in this map here. And in this column next to it, called a stratigraphic column, we can see the different layers of rock and in some places, the layers with fossils have been noted. Well, what can we find here? Well, we can find lots of brachiopods of many different varieties from the mid to late Devonian. There's uh, Lingula, the disarticulated brachiopod, and many other ones. They look like clams, but they're not really related to the mollusks at all. The phyla, which includes clams, octopi, and snails. They are their own group. In this particular site, we're going to see a lot of varieties of mucosporifer. These sporifers, shaped brachiopods with sort of a large groove going down the center, come in many different varieties. But what we're really looking for is the trilobites. And there are several varieties that can be found here. We often find phacops, uh, greenops, which is a little bit more scarce. And when we're lucky, we can even find the very large diplora, or at least parts of it. It's possible that we might also find the much more scarce Bellocartridia. So we're getting a little bit of rain now, trying to keep dry. Just split this it big was rock. It supposed to stop raining. Yeah, we're supposed to leave the rain at the other spot. No, no, I mean, when I got here, I looked at the, yeah. at the thing and it said rain stopping within two minutes. And huh. then there wasn't supposed to be anything else till about 10 after 3. And at about 10 after 3, we're supposed to get about 10 minutes of a little heavier rain. Uh. Well, I don't know if this one's going to hold together. Probably won't, but nice to look at it while it's here. It's really cool you can see the top and the side of it. So I'm still working on that big rock. Have a nice little green ups. Very interesting bivalve. Got both hands of that. And a nice little green ups. Part of it anyway. 
<laughs> All right. Oh, oh my God, Owen. Wow. It's just laying up on the top. Oh wow. my. I've been doing this for 25 years. Never seen one that good. <laughs> oh my God. Can I touch wow. it? Wow. Go for it. Just don't drop it. <laughs> it's so heavy. That's awesome. Wow. That is Beautiful. the best in Roll Deplora I have ever seen. That's the best in Roll Tribe I've ever seen. I've been to museums. Seen, so. Oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's huge. Wow. It's perfect. It's amazing. I was like, what's that? A shell? And it's not a shell. It's a trilobite. <laughs> that is spectacular. Ooh, I want to get a picture of that too. Me but too. My camera's up in the front. This is, this is going right on my desk. <laughs> awesome find. That is incredible. Wow. I've been to museums with like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that is really good for it. <laughs> that is, no, that is museum <laughs> quality. <laughs>
they look like uh, and the more I rub it the worse it gets <laughs> <laughs> well then stop rubbing it that's so stretched out oh that is awesome Very nice. If you don't mind, can we have your name? Rory. Thank you, Rory. Thank you very much for showing us. That is a really nice cephalopod. It's mineralized beautifully. So you get that uh, really nice coloration. And it's on already. Thanks. I'll film, uh, I'll film the rock. <laughs> okay. So, oh, it's wiggling already. Oh. Nice and big. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! There it comes. Here it comes. Now, one thing that it's smart to do is not stand underneath where a boulder is going to come down. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. That's oh, coming. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like one of those things, like those big foam fingers that, like, number one fan <laughs> things. Yeah. Let's see if there's any fossils in it. Let's break it apart. Yeah, so that's the idea. I'm gonna get one here. Whoa. Okay, there watch out there. below. Everyone! Okay, we are, it's gonna go this way. <laughs> Looks like everybody's going. Whoa! Oh, oh, it's not going. <laughs> that was a little anticlimactic. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you just have to like push it along the whole it's way. It's really breaking. It's breaking up. Oh <laughs> God, it's fragmenting. It's going nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe just kick it down. To, uh... it, it went nuclear. <laughs> Okay, so Ken, what did you find? Well, we think it might be a crinoid right here. Yep, looks like a crinoid. Thank you, thank you very much for showing us that. All right, so here is Rory's second great find of the day. She has an enrolled trial bite that looks to me like a fake hops. A fake hops is one that's known for enrolling. So, Rory, that was an excellent find. Oh, thank, thank you for you. sharing that. Of course, good find. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> seen a lot of these. So, what you have here is a cephalopod. <laughs> and a really beautiful brachiopod completely out of the matrix so that yeah. is really nice all right thank you thank you very much for showing us that rich you're welcome <laughs> yeah. so it is starting to get rainy a lot of people are starting to head out but i think this was a good fossil collecting trip
This trip was a lot of fun. Let me show you some of the things that I brought home. I wouldn't say that I was usually successful at this particular site, but did find a couple of things that I'm holding on to. Like, first of all, this cephalopod. The cephalopod, you can see, actually the little roots or little sections that made up its uh, growth as it grew from a small shell out into larger ones during its life cycle. So we have a nice little cephalopod there. Cephalopods are the shelled variety of squids and octopus that are around. Now, most shelled cephalopods are extinct with the exception of the Nautilus genus. This piece has a lot of those spurifer varieties of brachiopods. So I just took that one home. Nice sample of a few different of those. Also took home this little one, this nice little mucus burifer. This rock has one of those green ops and it looks like it's buried in the rock. It looks like it kind of filled in. So there's a chance that if I drill this out, the rest of the green ops might be under that blob of material. We'll just have to see. Just as we were getting ready to leave, I was determined to try and find something. So I split open a couple of big rocks and I found this nice big diplora head. It's hard to tell. I don't think there's going to be more inside, but you never know. So at least have something from that particular site. And this looks like part of a large nautiloid. So it looks, it looks like some type of curled cephalopod. It is only a part of it, but it's nice to know that there were some big curved ones there too. Here's one with just a whole lot of brachiopod activity going on it. I think that stain across it is what's left from algae. Now, every once in a while, we get a mystery fossil. I don't know what this is. I was thinking maybe, possibly one of the Malacostraca, the uh, shrimp-like creatures, but no, it actually has mother of pearl. So this has to be some type of bivalve, I would think. So very interesting, but I just don't recognize the species on this. Really strange. Looks like there's two parts, one on top of the other. Very strange bivalve type creature. I wonder what this is. Let me know if you know. And I know you saw this already, but I wanted to show you again because another piece came off revealing more of this Bembixia. So we have very nice Bembixia saved in the matrix. Very nice fossil, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So thank you, my friends, for watching this fossil hunting and collecting adventure. I hope you enjoyed the really spectacular finds made by some of the people on this trip. If you do like fossil hunting videos, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It helps out the channel or even subscribe. I appreciate my subscribers over 500 so far. So thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure filming this and I have some more in the works. It takes a while to process these, to edit these. Uh, so look forward to those coming up. Thank you again. Have a great day.